Okay. We're going to determine the cable velocity factor. Normally the company that you or the brand that you buy the uh, the coax would uh, provide you the velocity factor. But if you don't have the information or even if all the writing and printing on the cables were out, you can determine it. So the first thing you need to do is to connect one end of your coax to port 1, S11, and the other end to port 2, S21. And we're going to set a frequency uh, of a start of 1 megahertz and a stop at 200 megahertz. It doesn't matter if your resolution is 101 or 401 points. It should give you the same differences. You want to set it so you can read the frequency tip from one wave form to the next. And I'm going to insert a video showing what I mean and how it will look on your Nano VNA. Okay. All the trace is turned off except for trace three. I'll go back. I should use my other hand, I guess. Oops. And I want to go to stimulus. Start will be one mix. And the stop will be 100 megahertz. And that's the waveform that you, you will get. Now what you want is to get the frequency of these two peaks right there. So I just use, go back, marker. Okay, and I'll go left. There you go. So that's the frequency of 24265 in this particular case. And then I go search right, and I get the next one, 40 megahertz, 0.105. So that's how you would set up to get your velocity factor. The distance in megahertz between those two points. You can go either way, it doesn't matter, as long as it's one point. You can use the marker the search option, you set it for maximum, and then either search left or right to get the peak of the wave separation. Now the line in green was the results of my uh, length, so I'm just going to use the 15.44 in this demonstration. All you need to know is what your length of your cable is close enough. Okay, you go to Home Menu, as you select stimulus, you enter the start of 1 megahertz and the stop of 100 megahertz, and then back. Select display, then trace. You want to turn off trace 0, which is the yellow. Turn off trace 1, which is the blue. Trace 2, which is the green, you want off. So the only trace you're going to have is trace 3, which is the purple, then back. Okay, you, you would have seen the video on how to read the peak frequency. So the first peak, peak 1, enter the frequency. In my case, it was 24.265. And then I jumped to the next peak, which was 40.105 megahertz. It's not critical whether you're subtracting from peak 1 to peak 2 or peak 2 to peak 1. Just ignore the, the negative figure. So you would minus 40 by 24. And you should get a figure of 15.840. Then the next thing you have to do is you take the speed of light, which is 300 in this formula, and you're going to divide 
the difference, which is 15.840. And that should give you an answer of 18.939. And the last step, your actual coax length. In my case, so it's 15.440. It included the pigtails. And you divide that by 18.939. And you will get 81.524. So round figure, 82% is your velocity factor. It's, so now you know what type of cable you have. Hopefully that helps. Thank you. Have a nice day.